Yeah, we're here outside the office where a lot of those billing disputes are heard. We spoke with a woman who says she owes the city more than $4,400 for water, but we understand that a new bill passed by the legislature could give people like her a big break on her bill. I'm very sick. I'm 66 years old. I had two hip replacements. Enel Weatherspoon says she desperately needs help to pay her water bill. According to her latest statement, Weatherspoon owes the city more than $4,400. Only thing I want to ask the mayor, also I want to ask the governor, why y'all ain't giving us no help and we citizens and we vote him? State Representative Chris Bell says relief could come from House Bill 359. The legislation would empower the city to defer uncollected water and sewer bills. Governor Tate Reeves hasn't yet signed the bill into law. I've been told that he has been for the bill, uh, for his legislation, so uh, I'm looking forward to his signature on this bill uh, to give the people of Jackson an opportunity to uh, to have an opportunity to, to debate or necessarily not debate, but uh, to get these water bills under control. Under the state constitution, no city is allowed to forgive an unpaid debt. House Bill 359 would allow the city's Water Sewer Business Administration to set up a payment plan for any customer behind on what they owe. Uh, which is fair uh, for some. Uh, you know, you have some individuals who have not had, uh, who have used water uh, and didn't pay for it. Yeah, bye. And there's some other big changes coming to this office here at Metro Center. We understand the city is reorganizing this water and sewer billing system. The goal is to make sure that those bills go out on time and that they're accurate. Tonight we're live in South Jackson. Ross Adams at 16, WAPT News.